Hey everyone, and welcome back to the job site. We have a ton of work to do on this episode. We have the plumber coming so he can do his roughing plumbing. Next, we're gonna have to jump back onto the roof and get the soffit put on and the soffit vent and the fascia and trim. And then we're gonna have to get up there again with the uh, underlayment for the shingles, get that put down and get this uh, roof kind of dried up. And then next, we're gonna jump into the garage and get the framing done for the roof there. So the ceiling is all done and framed up. So when the electricians come, uh, they can put all their stuff in there. And uh, oh, we have the uh, order of shingles coming. That should be here in just a couple days. So looking forward to that. But we just have a whole ton of work to do. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. So let's go get to work. All right, so this soffit is finally coming along here. We've talked about it for a couple of days now, but finally get up there, got along the uh, side there and the uh, bottom part of the uh, the house here. This is the uh, long roof. Got the uh, continuous uh, soffit vent, which is that two inch vent that goes all the way down. As I say, a two inch vent. I have one at the uh, bottom of the house here and then another one at the uh, top of the house. So let's air in from the bottom here and up to the top of the roof to uh, let out any uh, humid air, hot air, cool air like that, and just ventilate the place a little bit better. But that is done there. Uh, we're going to go to the other side of the house there and work on the uh, soffit for that side. And then we'll probably come around here to the uh, garage and work on getting the uh, soffit under the garage there. So that's kind of the plan for right now. But before we do that, we want a little shopping spree and got a whole bunch of stuff here in the trailer to get out. Let's go take a look. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of good stuff here. Got the uh, some uh, scaffold pieces here. It uh, turns out it's actually cheaper to just buy your own scaffold than to rent it. So that's what we did there. I got our our flashing here for the uh, drip edge, flashing for the top of the roof. Uh, back there we have rolls of underlayment for the shingles because those uh, shingles should be coming on Friday. That box back there is the uh, kit for the uh, uh, chimney to go through the uh, roof. Got all of our roofing nails there, cap nails, and have our the shower lay, our front door, patio door, and garage entry kind of door there. And here we have a bathtub. I'll go ahead and get that inside. The plumber should be coming, and he asked me to take the bathtub out, and he's gonna get that installed today. So we've gotta take all this stuff out first. I'll get that bathtub inside.
two days of doing soft fit and fascia. We finally put on the uh, last bottom piece here, put the last of the vent on. The vent I ended up with about six inches extra. So uh, good math skills on that one. Uh, got that last part done. So we thought that the uh, fascia is done, but there is more, always more. But like I said before, on this uh, top edge there, uh, we have a, a three and a half inch strip going down there, um, all the way along the top there. But uh, this one, we can get up on the roof and hang that over and uh, get that nailed on. So that'll be uh, a little easier for us. But anyways, see he's up on the roof getting ready. Put the pieces up there. So back to the roof and more fascia. Moments later. All right, so thankfully putting this, uh, this wood up here, this, uh, this one by one by four uh, trim on the top here. That went pretty quick because we can just lean over the roof and put that on. Took, uh, I don't know, about an hour and a half to get it put on, but it's all done. And uh, kind of reason we put this on, it makes the uh, edge of the fascia here look a little more, a little more fancy. Build it out. Also, it gives a uh, some of this uh, wood here is not quite even all the way to the top. But put this thicker piece of wood on there, and the uh, flashing will overhang this little little drip seal, so a drip edge for the uh, shingles to go on, and it gives it just a nice, uh, nice hard edge on the end there, and. Makes it look a little, a little nicer from the ground, but that is put on all the way around. So that's done. I can finally say the fascia is done. And next part is uh, coming here to the uh, other roof. We have our roll of underlayment there. We're gonna get that put down. A couple sheets of that. Shingles are coming. We'll get those down put, put down later. But first thing first, underlayment. And up here on the roof, this is what we did yesterday, put the underlayment out on the whole house. And uh, it's pretty easy to do, just uh, get these little, little cap nails, nail them down. They have little spots where they're supposed to go. And um, up here, have a little bit of a overlap. That's how we marked out, so it's pretty easy to put on. Took us the uh, afternoon to do it, and it's done. So next thing, up here on the roof again, and this edge along here, all the way around, we're gonna put the uh, metal uh, drip edge on. We have been working up on the roof there. Plumber showed up and he's been working hard. I uh, got all the uh, plumbing done here you see for the uh, washer dryer. Coming here we're gonna have the water heater in this little closet here. Went ahead and uh, installed the bathtub. Uh, found out that uh, this wall along here was supposed to be a, a two by six wall so the uh, pipes can go in that uh, exterior wall but since this is a, a cold climate here uh, we're not able to do that. So without a two by six wall, that put a little bit of a gap inside there. I uh, didn't really measure that part before, but that's what we got now. So the plan is to take this bathtub, move it against the wall here, and then this wall here, we will uh, fur it out a couple inches. So this would just be a, a flat wall and that'd be a pretty quick and simple fix for that one. Walk around here into the uh, master bedroom and into the uh, master bathroom. See here, toilet under the window. That would be nice there. Along here, we'll have a nice 60-inch uh, vanity going across. And over here for the uh, walk-in shower. So you got the uh, drain for that. And uh, he went yesterday to pick up some valves uh, for the shower. So that's what he'll put in today. And he has all the... Uh, Venting pipe done in the ceilings. That is all done. And everything is done pretty much underneath the house. 
I'm not going to crawl into the crawl space now because I don't really want to do that. But once he is done, I'll come back and kind of show the uh, finished uh, progress that he has made. And just a couple minutes later, drip edge is done. Got it all the way around the house. Uh, we don't put it on the top of the house. We put the uh, shingles on first and then on the top, it overlaps. So we just do it on the bottom and sides. Yep, got it around. Okay, here what we're doing for the corners. We just cut the corner and bend it around. So it's a seal up on the end and overlap it so any kind of water can come down the edge there. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for now. Uh, next thing we'll do is we won't put the shingles on yet. So I'm gonna come back and first uh, paint the fascia there and the soffit underneath. So I'm not getting the overspray on the house and on the shingles and anything like that. So paint it and then uh, afterwards we'll put the uh, shingles on. But roof is pretty much done now, just ready for shingles. So here's just a little look from the bottom. Drip edge on there, that one by three trim is on. Got that all around looking nice. We still do have to go back and do some caulking on the bottom there to get that sealed up, but not too much work. Ah, well, good news. This uh, two by four 16s, that's what we needed for the garage ceiling that just showed up. So we can kind of change what we're doing. Come in here to the garage and get the ceiling put up there. Made a little mark at eight feet there. Ran the uh, chalk line all the way across. That's the top of our ceiling. So we had eight foot ceiling for the garage. So that's done. So let's get the ceiling put up now. And here we are in the garage. Got a little later. I uh, hope it's not too dark and you can see this, but garage ceiling is done. Uh, the reason we put that little piece across the uh, middle is just to uh, hold everything together. And then we put some uh, supports in the middle up to the roof there. Just because this is a 13 foot span and I don't want that uh, drywall sagging there. And the middle, we put a couple more supports there. So that's where the uh, garage door motor is going to be. And I want that nicely supported. So that's not going to fall down, but yep. Uh, that was the last of the framing, so I think now the house is all framed up and done. Well, the plumber, he is just about finished up here. Uh, it's getting a little dark here. hope you can see. Just kind of want to go over what he did. Got all the uh, vent pipes put in here, the uh, valves for the bathtub. And since we messed up a little bit on the uh, bathroom measurements, what I did is uh, disconnected the tub, moved it over against the wall, 
and we had to bring this wall out about uh, two and three quarter inches. So we did it up along the whole wall here. So this wall will be uh, nice and flush when we put the drywall in there. And no one's gonna ever notice that this bathroom was a little bit bigger than it should have been. Coming around here, super dark. We're gonna have to cut these windows out. Kind of do a little walk through there. Everything done there. It's a little dark in here, so let's go outside for a minute. And the order here for the shingles just showed up. Putting these uh, uh, black shingles on there. I think that's going to look pretty nice with the house here. Got a bundle of starter shingles. Not sure when we're doing that one. I think it'll be a, another a week or two before we get those put up there. But everything is all ready for this. Well, guys, it's been a super productive week. Got a ton of stuff done. The plumber, he just left. He got all of his work done. So inspection should be coming next week. Uh, electrician should be coming next week. So that's uh, really good there. Looking forward to that. Uh, you can see behind me, it's kind of getting dark here. So it's late in the day. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, go home, get the rest. And uh, yeah, again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Put all your comments down below. I read every one of them and uh, try to respond to everything. So thanks for watching. And I will see you right back here for the next one.